Today on Propellers Brew with a View, we are joined by marketing procurement consultant Tina Fiegent. Welcome, Tina. What are you having to drink? Hello. Today I am making my usual breakfast uh, tea, which is peppermint tea. So put that on. I love peppermint tea. I've never had normal tea. Not a great coffee drinker, so I do like it. But it has to be a particular brand, and I leave the bag in for five minutes and then I take it out. So I struggle when I go to a, a cafe or something, they use a different brand and it's really strong, so I have to sort of smell how far the, the peppermint is infused. So uh, yeah, quite quick to do um, and I love it first thing in the morning. What do you read when having your morning cuppa? Well, I've usually read most things, so I'm an early bird uh, and I swim most mornings. So I've usually gone on, which I think in order, what do I look at? My email, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, BBC, Sky News, probably done all that in the first 10, 15 minutes of the day, gone for my swim, uh, I've come back, and when I'm actually making my tea, I'm a great, great radio fan, so I listen to Six Music, love Lauren Laverne in the mornings, really pleased this morning Mark, Rad Mark Radcliffe was on, so, so I've digested all my social media, um, and I actually listen to music while I'm on a cup of tea. What individual or company do you think is currently stirring things up for the right reasons and who's in hot water? Well, I've got the same answer to both of those and it could be controversial, but for me it's Meghan Markle, so the Duchess of Sussex. So, great when she met Harry and, you know, we love a wedding over here in the UK, a royal wedding. And she's done some great stuff. Today we've seen in, in British Vogue how it's a forces for good and the 15 people that she, she's put on the cover and the interview with Michelle Obama were fantastic. The charity she supports, like Smart Works, and actually I've donated to them as well, helping women get back into work. Uh, the Grenfell Tower, you know, I was actually visiting a client the day that happened and can see also. It's absolutely fantastic and that Harry's happy, but just stirring things up. You know, I'm a royalist, I love the Queen, I want the Queen to live forever. Um, just what you hear, be it in the press or whatever, you know, not let us have access to the christening, um, the thing the weekend about the do's and don'ts if you see them walking in, in Windsor Park. So, you know, I really want to like her, um, you know, and she's just great for the royal family, but just that's that royal protocol that, for me, I sh I'm struggling with. So I think she covers both on, on that side. What's the one thing you thought was going to make a splash, but didn't? For me, I'm the daughter of a black, black cabbie, born and bred in South London, and it is an Uber equivalent app for black cabs. They just can't get their act together. Plus, unfortunately, they do moan quite a lot still about Uber. Um, and, you know, credit card payments and everything. So I really think they're really missing a trip in just getting on with it, this is the competition, and here's an app that can really help you. Where you, you know, it's responsive, it's monitoring where the cabs are, it's cost effective, because they're not. I'm still loyal, I still use black cabs ever in London, I haven't got on Uber app, and I'm really proud of that, but I really wish they'd get their act together in terms of technology and the platform. And talking of technology, what's your favorite tech platform or solution at the moment? I'm really into podcasts, including, I have to say, Propellers Dog and Burn. I wasn't paid to say that. Love the recent one with Keith Moore. I love the one with John Wilkins and Niels Leonard that, that came out a few months ago. Love Desert Island Disc. You know, everyone's got to listen to that. Dr. John Cooper Clark, two weeks ago, was, was amazing to listen to him. And gives you great insight into, the, you know, a whole range of personalities. Um, I love Fee, unfortunately, with um, Fee and Jane, which is uh, BBC Radio 4. Um, Giles Corran has just launched his uh, podcast, really like him and his wife Esther Walker. And that's really, what's been really interesting to see about podcasts, because when they launched it, it's just obviously said he's got column on a Saturday. There was no adverts, and actually now in the latest version, there are like two adverts. So from an advertising point of view, it's quite interesting to see how the change and look at the model of how it works. So it's great. I have a train journey in, in, you know, when I go see clients in London, and it's a great use. As long as I've got battery power on my phone, uh, it's a great use uh, to learn and listen to different things. Tina, thank you for joining us. Thank you.